Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. And this is going to be for um, your mid-monthlies, which is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. So the time is going to be from now until the end of December. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in here. All right, so what's going to happen with my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance for now until the end of December. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So I just feel like there's a conversation going on. And remember this, we're going to talk about love first, then career and finance, and then uh, what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. So it's like, I feel like you and another person are speaking about the connection and how this connection is just a very it's it's a uh, unforgettable unforgettable okay so like it's like you and another person are speaking about how this connection is just very profound to both of you okay that's what i hear right now okay and we see that there is this action being taken this sudden action being taken so let's see how this is going to play out here okay so it looks like you guys, and this is going to be happening first, then second, then the end of the month. You guys are about to be very happy with the sun card energy, okay? There's success and happiness, uh, fun time there with the sun card energy coming out. All right, what's going to have my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance for now until the end of December. Show me cards you can see. Show me the cards I need to see. And also what I feel is something about this situation feels very nostalgic, okay? Also, that's also what I'm feeling. So there's concerns about this fun, this happy energy ending. So let's see what's going on here. Or there's somebody that's happy that there's someone out of a relationship. Okay, so let's see what that's, that's about. It's not my Scorpio's romantic love life now until the end of December. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, because it's like I can, we can bring things together. And I just hear you're just so unforgettable to me. It's just like, yeah. Both of you are mutually feeling this. Both, both of you are mutually feeling this. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's use, let's use this deck. What's going to happen? The Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career. And that's for now until the end of December. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Isn't that interesting? Something amazes you about a situation. Something is brought to light, I feel like. Something that seemed confusing now is coming to the surface. That was confusing. Something was hidden about a situation. It's like there's this discovery that's made. It's like, wow, this is a wonder. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see, let's use, let's use this deck. Let's go my Scorpio's Romantic Life life now until the end of December. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, it's like the timing is right now, Scorpio. Look at this, there's a victory here, a victory. 
you guys are getting a victory here, getting a lot of attention, getting noticed, recognized. There seems to be a motherly energy or an older sister or someone who's giving advice about how to heal or fix a situation. Because someone's like, I just want to free myself in that situation. And it looks like there's a conversation taking place. That's what I told you. I, I felt like in the beginning when I was shuffling your deck, I felt like you and another person are having a conversation about the connection itself and how beautiful the connection is and that both of you agree that this connection is just profound. Okay, so there's a want to work or put effort into this situation. And this person's like, I'm single and available to pursue or I wanna help you with this situation because something seems to be stuck here, stagnant. And we keep going with this, right? It's like, I need to overcome these obstacles because I have feelings for you. But there's these delays and challenges here so it's like there's a conversation that when the timing is right, I'm going to do what I have to do to overcome these delays and challenges in this situation. So because, oh my goodness, this is just like this king of cups keeps one come out, one wanting to come out. So, and it's coming out in pretty much every reading, this king of cups because I feel like we're getting into the new year. There's a reassessment of relationships and uh, of what people really, you know, how people feel about other people. And it's just like Scorpio, there's a deep love here. King of Cups is coming out. It's saying, I deeply love you. You're my true love. There's that King of Cups energy. I feel like you guys are really shocked and surprised because I feel like this person hasn't told you yet but I feel like they are going to tell you. And you're shocked and surprised about this. And you're like, yes, this is my soulmate connection. This is my love. And you're going deep here and discovering things about this situation when it came to emotions. And also there's a discussion about this infringing party here. Okay, so it looks like you'll end a tough cycle here. Ten of Swords energy coming up. And there's someone who feels very foolish about a situation. And they feel bad about what happened. It's like, I don't know how to fix this Scorpio, but I've been doing a lot of reflection about this, and I'm realizing we're very similar. I'm very, very cautious and defensive, and I'm standoffish. Because there's something about this relationship, this soulmate connection, that took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. Now I see the spiritual signs, star card energy. It looks like this person's showing up visiting or you're receiving some kind of package or gift because this can be like the Amazon, the UPS person here and you're shocked and surprised by this. Now it wouldn't be a Scorpio reading if we didn't have the tower, right? <laughs> shocked and surprised by this. Mm -hmm. What are you shocked and surprised by? How happy you are. Well, that's good. That's a good shock. So you're shocked you're finally shocked about how happy you are about this situation and hopeful for the future, star card energy. It feels like this person's actually taking actions now, whereas before they didn't. You were only getting them to say words, but they weren't doing actions. So we see that they're, you're receiving something here, receiving a gift, receiving a, something of value, something of worth, and you have a sigh of relief. 
There is a strong temptation here, strong desires. But still very cautious, protective. Because it's like, I have to wait and see how things are going to play out. Seven of Pentacles energy. There's this person that's feeling sad and heartbroken over you. Yep, crying over you. Sad. You see a main person, or the person you see is a main person. Because there's awareness that there's potential here. And uh, <laughs> this has a lot to do with also passion here. Lots of chemistry and passion here towards the end of the month, okay? Well, there's the strong temptation there. It looks like it's uh, definitely a sense of a passionate temptation there. Okay, so it seems to me like what's going on at the end of the month there. Let's, we're going to go to the last card, but it, it feels to me like all of the emotions are going to well up and it's going to turn into some passionate exercises. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Because someone's like, I feel so bad about the situation. I feel so regretful because of this individual. This could be a, someone feels regret about somebody else or an infringing party. Sister, daughter, a friend. And it looks like you're going to fulfill your desires here. Something that you wanted about this situation when it came to love. Wow, Scorpio. Oh my God. Just when I think you guys, like I, I've seen the best reading for you guys, then you have this reading. <laughs> yep. See, someone's like telling you how bad they feel and regretful about love. Okay, so let's bring it together. What's the central theme about what's going on here? There's something about your soulmate. There's a communication about a relationship. And the timing, blessings about this relationship and the regrets about this and the delays and challenges about a relationship and waiting around. And we see something about this infringing party here and hopefulness to overcome the delays and challenges and the regrets of this connection. So we bring it together. The timing is aligning towards your favor. We see there's something about this infringing party. and having to be patient we see communication about a relationship and chemistry and passion delays and challenges but hopefulness because of this regrets hopefulness around these regrets optimism of moving past these regrets okay so let's talk about it let's talk about it Scorpio mm -hmm. okay so and let's look at the bottom of the deck as well again another tower card Shock and surprise, trying to make the wisest decision. We see a happy outcome. Someone's making a power move. To make a sudden action, take a sudden action because of love or concerns of new love. Because of love, they're taking these actions to bring things into balance. So there could be a situation where your person's like, I don't want you to be with someone new. I don't want this infringing party. Because you discover something about the deepness of these emotions. and. Uh, the sense of needing security and someone's freeing themselves from these people and their cautiousness and defensive energy here But there's so much potential and there's courage strength and confidence to overcome these delays and challenges towards happiness because of love And you have a main person card coming out, okay, you have a main person card coming out and we have the love relationship card coming out and we have your fulfillment of your wishes and desires, Scorpio, as the final card there. Look at that. So what's going on here? There's reflecting going on about things from the past. Something's coming together with a love relationship and these temptations, this strong desire to heal the situation, these regrets in the main person. We see a stuck energy, stagnation, and we see a shock and surprise about a fulfillment of your desire and wish, something that you wish and hope for. So Scorpio, ask yourself the question, okay, because I know you guys are going to ask me in the comments, who is this? Ask yourself the question, who is it in your life right now that would fulfill your wishes, your desires? That's what we're talking about right now, okay? That person, that deep love that you have. Okay, so we see this ending 
you're finding out about some kind of ending and you're shocked and surprised and relieved we see this we see there's some other people involved in this too we see a motherly energy an older sister we see a, a sister a daughter a friend we see i was foolish about this i feel sad and we see someone's trying to help or someone's single and available to pursue we see you get communication here you may even get communication from this other person, maybe this sister, daughter, or this infringing party about their regrets. And this also brings a sense of hope here. Okay. So you're really happy, actually. You're about to be really happy because of this deep love, King of Cups energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. And you receive some kind of victory here. And you end this tough cycle and this sadness, this crying and sadness and effort is put towards this hopeful energy because of things to do from the past, regrets from the past. Someone has so many regrets, they feel so sad. Look at that. You literally have sadness and regrets right next to each other. So this person's feeling sad and regretful and someone wants to end this tough cycle. And you can see here at the beginning, Success and happiness, this victory and effort because of this deep love, King of Cups energy. And we see this ending of a tough cycle, hopefulness in giving because someone wants to receive or an equal give and take because of this sadness and these feeling bad about this Six of Cups energy, Five of Cups, excuse me, Five of Cups energy. So something is about to big change for you guys. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice, okay? Let's get some advice. All right. I have some advice to my Scorpios when it comes to a romantic love life for their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them. So romantic love life now until the end of December. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So... Take the higher road on this situation when it comes to your desires and the sacrifice because obviously we see at the end of the month there could be a passionate situation that could go down. Yes, you are very attractive. Know your value and your worth and just be patient. Be patient and protect the situation and focus on healing. Let things grow. All right, there's something about the universe. You have a lot of knowledge and know-how. You have the expertise, Scorpio because you already know the outcome here because you guys are highly psychic, okay? There's these preconditions here, but you have the expertise from the past. You have a superpower, Scorpio. Listen to your intuition, your imagination, and know there's gonna be a creative solution. If you put the work into this situation, you fight for this, there can be a victory here. You have more power than what you realize when it comes to loyalty and devotion. So I feel like what's going on here, it's telling me to be impartial, so telling you guys to be impartial for your situation. So, Scorpio, with this person, don't rush into a passionate situation. Let them complete or accomplish or do what they gotta do first. Be patient. It's gonna be really easy to go there in a passionate way, but don't succumb to this. Give it time, let it play out. Let this person show you about the loyalty and the devotion, okay? Not leading with passion. I know you guys are the sexy sign. Just be cognizant of that, okay? So just give it time. And with time with this person, the loyalty and the devotion will come, but it can't lead with passion. Because when we lead with passion, we have to take the higher, higher, we have to deal with our higher selves here on this, okay? So, just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's go into your career and finance here. So, I see that there's a little bit of a defeated energy coming in. So, you guys are kind of like, all right, I need to stand up and fight or walk away from a situation, okay? You have some huge potential here, Ace of Pentacles energy. So new beginnings, fresh starts, and there's something about a contract or commitment here with the Hierophant card energy. Let's put the rest of these down. Okay, 
So what is this debated energy? So something from before, you're looking into something from before, something from before you're defeated about. But you've got some huge potential for lots of money here. When it comes to a new contract or commitment. Okay, let's keep going. We have success and happiness, and you have this great opportunity before you, main person. There's big changes coming in for you guys. When it comes to the public, when it comes to a group of people, you're going to start to see some changes, and you know this truth. First, you guys are going to be indecisive about what to do when it comes to the public, the people, this meeting, this conference. But there will be, you will receive some kind of happy surprise because you're going to be able to see the bigger picture. There's some politics to be played here with the King of Swords energy or you guys are using your head here being very logical and speaking, which is getting you a lot of attention and recognition. A lot of you guys are having a sense of independence here in your situation or you're doing soul searching, really digging deep and trying to figure things out. Because you're realizing your value and your worth and you know that there's an optimism coming in for your future. Be careful though, some of you guys may overburden yourself, okay, coming up. And this is gonna make you feel a little bit stuck or complacent when it comes to money and finance. Understand that there's a long road here, but there's gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel. You're gonna overcome that. Emperor shows me that you guys are getting more on schedule by the end of the month, or you're definitely taking more of a leadership role when it comes to your career in finance, or there's something to do with a boss, or even starting your own business for some of you guys. Yeah, some of you guys are getting really, really strict with yourself. You're getting on schedule. Because you're trying not to deal with a situation here. So you can enjoy the moment more. So I feel like you guys are trying to stay on schedule and keep yourself in a certain boundary, uh, you know, keep yourself in a certain routine so that you can be a little bit more flexible and sp spending some time and enjoying yourself. You have an offer, an opportunity, or something that you love here. And there's something that you've been waiting for that's coming in. And so there's effort being put into that. And it is being brought to light here by the end of the month. There's something about a friendship, socializing, a network circle, or a celebration here. About some kind of contract or commitment. We see this friend here. And you're starting to trust it. Okay, let's bring it together. Let's bring it together. All right, so it's a central theme. It shows me you got a lot going on, and you got a lot of great things coming up on the horizon. And you're aware of some of these things. You know you have opportunities here that you could pursue. I, I get the sense that you guys have come out of a tough period and a sense of confusion, and there's a lot of optimism that you're going into. Some of you guys are dealing with the public or there's something about socializing or there's a conference or there's a big group of people and you're seeing some big changes. You're speaking, you're doing some kind of speaking here and maybe in some traveling for some of you guys. Um, there is this path and you're aware of your path at this point and something is coming to light. I feel like by the end of the month you guys are in that place of just enjoying the moment and just kind of trying to separate yourself from everyone else. And some things are coming to light and you're trusting in this situation. So you're happy about um, this, these two happy cards, but this is a gift. So success and happiness in this gift that you receive which allows you to break away and look at some more of these opportunities, offers that you have. And you are able to spend some time kind of thinking about this, giving yourself some time to soul search. Thank you for that confirmation, Spirit. And effort is being put into 
You know, you're putting effort into your situation. And there's a, an abundance of money coming in. So you got some money coming in here. And we see that you could be uh, leaning on some other friends for support or other people for support to help you. So going further. So I see that you're looking into something you looked into before or you're doing something you did before. We see there's something about this group of people. You're getting on schedule, very cautious, defensive here. We see money and finance. You're getting a lot of attention, recognition, and it is something you've been waiting for. There's this new beginning and fresh start. You feel a little bit stuck or complacent here, uh, but there is some kind of contract or commitment coming in. So you first you start out very defeated and at a crossroads. And we see you're taking control of the situation or something about a boss or work or even just staying on schedule there. There's, you got, looks like two potential offers there. If I look at Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, one's pretty serious, one's pretty lucrative financially. And it looks like there's involving a King of Swords, Cancer, uh, Gemini, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we also see that there is this Another, another opportunity that you really love. And there is something to do with a contract or commitment here, and which is a little bit burdensome there with the Ten of Wands energy. And it may involve some friends here, Three of Cups energy, or more than one person here, Three of Cups energy, or some kind of socializing you've got to do with Three of Cups energy. So we look at the central theme. There's a logical energy here. You're using your head. You're speaking your truth. These indecisions is because of the burdens and responsibilities you got to deal with. But it, I can see there's two separate offers there. There's a defeated energy because you have to play politics, you have to speak here, and you have to do some kind of socializing with the Three of Cups energy, but this commitment of contract is going to give you the ability possibly to have more control or have more scheduling or it's going to bring more, uh, make you more of a boss or leader, all right? And you feel like that could be a really good thing for something that you love here. Let's go down a little further here, the Three of Cups energy. So something from before, Six of Cups energy, you're listening to your intuition and you're working together, collaborating with others so that you can kind of not have to deal with things so much. There could be some legal decisions going on with Justice Card energy and maybe even for some of you travel. Um, feel a little bit trapped in a situation because you're just you want some time to think about these things when it comes to this partnership or this choice but there is some air of mysteries here we see an airy Sagittarius legal energy and some worries and concerns some long-term planning going on and some juggling about a dis this decision or having to juggle two things at once here to a pentacles energy yeah but you're very uh, you're growing something here Empress card energy and you may have to spend some money here for this potential long-term situation. You see Four of Pentacles, you're able to hold on to something and you're contemplating things, trying to be patient when it comes to this contract commitment or these other people you're collaborating with. So it looks like you guys may start to juggle a couple of different things at once. So let's get you guys some advice. Best advice my Scorpios when it comes to their career and finance for the highest, best good, for the best, also best, best outcome for them when it comes to their career and finance now until the end of December. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Congratulations on your abundance. You deserve it. Yes. Stick to your convictions. You have permission. <laughs> it says that Obviously, there's going to be a lot of recognition coming in. So it says something about humility here in your expression. <laughs> it's time to break your routine, Scorpio, and be rebellious and enjoy the process. You're going to gain a lot of power. Stay driven. Just show up and surrender to the situation. You're going to have success here. Us. I think for you, Scorpios, that was a darn good um, career reading. Okay, so let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you. 
I'm gonna use this deck over here, let's see. What does Scorpio need to know spiritually that they don't know, that they need to know that can help them with their situation for spiritually? Now into the end of December, show my cards you need to see, show my cards you need to see. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look. Did you know that there are no mistakes in the universe and all events, circumstances, relationships, situations are unfolding in the perf perfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan. Any apparent delay is in your favor. If something is happening for you right now, then it is perfect too. Divine timing is perfection. It is safe to trust this now. So, Scorpio, I know we let, you know, as we all like to kind of look back to the past and say, why didn't I do this? How come this didn't work out like that? Why didn't this happen this right time? But the universe is asking you to trust that everything is happening at the perfect time and know that it's all going to work out. Just trust in this now. Trust in divine timing. Let's see. Yeah, saying that here is healing that brings it forgiveness and releases old pain and sweeps away any sadness, pain from your heart and soul. Your time for greater inner freedom is dawning and the cleansing of sadness and healing of forgiveness creates the pathway for greater freedom now. You deserve this freedom and you are swiftly becoming ready to claim it. So it is talking about doing some healing work here, okay? dealing with some of these things from before, these regrets from before. And we see that the wish of the Divine Mother is that you become free. Enlightenment is a cultivation of many small steps, each one as a drop of water forming a divine ocean of peace, realization, love, unity within. An ocean that washes away fear, separation, and scarcity, and bathes us with abundance and bliss you carry the torch of enlightenment within your heart and let it shine. Scorpio, don't forget you're an old soul and you've been here before in many lifetimes, right? And all of our experiences in this life are to help cultivate and to understand that there's a higher purpose here and the reason why we are here. We're here to learn our lessons and we're here to grow our consciousness and to grow wisdom. So at this time, think about that in the month of December. All right, my beautiful Scorpios. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. As I always say, guys, everyone has free will. We all have free will. We're all collect collectively creating this reality with our free will. So as readers, we're not supposed to affect your free will. So always follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. At the end of the day, you have free will and it is your decision to make, okay? I love you guys so much. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Scorpio, you know I love hearing from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments, so if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, Scorpio, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.